Hi, I'm Dot Bun, and um, this is Redstone Farm Studio. Uh, Central Books Chamber of Commerce is once again hosting the uh, Artist Studio Tour. I'm on it, and there'll be another group of wonderful artists on there. So we'd love you to come out. Put the dates, May 19th and 20th, on your calendar and join us. So, you know, there's always things going on around here. There's always, uh, I have a library. My students borrow books from the library. Um, we run workshops. I bring in other people to do plein air workshops because I don't do them. But I do a color workshop and I do uh, paintings. I'm, I'm running classes three times a week now. I have this, first of all, still life always has attracted me, but they never seem to sell quite as well as landscape. Bucks County wants Bucks County landscapes. So, and I'm a Bucks County painter. I don't, I don't paint from outside the area. But lately I've been doing a lot more portrait work. I just had a, a major piece accepted into the Oil Painters of America show for the second year, and they both did still life and portrait work, not Bucks County landscapes, so why not? Very impressive. Uh, I have about 150 paintings in circulation. I don't need any more landscapes, <laughs> so it's time for me to play with the portraits. So. And you're doing a great job at it. Well, thank you. shine before you bisque fire it and then you will put like a uh, ferric chloride on it which turns a kind of orange uh, this has been done 
with varic chloride, and, and but I'm not really happy with the colors I've got on that, so I will redo that. And um, you can put different oxides and stuff on it, and then you wrap it all up with all sorts of things, you know, seaweed, um, you know, wood, you know, shavings, any type of thing that's going to leave its mark on it. And then, um, you know, you wrap it up in the aluminum foil and fire it, and it leaves its mark on it. So I'm going to be doing um, horsehair firing, and that's the process when you have a, a burnished piece, and then you refire it and you take it out of the kiln, and it's about 1,400 degrees, so it's red hot, and you just place the horsehair on it, and it just kind of shrivels up and leaves the carbon imprint on it. So it's very cool. This is the naked raccoon. So you can see, I, I put a tape tape around here and I taped that. And then after I dipped it in the slip and glaze, then I removed the tape so there would be just the bare clay. So then that's what got smoked black. So it will kind of crack. Some of these have much bigger cracks than others. Um, this is the same process, but instead of dipping it in the slip and the glaze, I dip it in the slip and then I splash glaze on. So it, it's a little different effect. And then this is <clears throat> what we call um, sea urchin. And it's, it's big blobs of slip that are put on top of the other slips so that some areas are very thick in slip and so it's not going to uh, get any smoke in at all. So, so. I want to refresh my memory. Yeah the little hearts? Those are prayer hearts. So if, uh, you know, I sell a lot of them to people that are like getting married or they've lost somebody and they want it as a remembrance, they can write prayers and put them in the heart. Ah. Or like people buy them that are getting um, married and then at the shower <clears throat> people can write their wishes to them. Oh, I like and that. And then they, it fills up with prayers and That's really and everything. Neat. Yeah. And once they're so, in there, they're in there. <laughs> yeah. Well, and and then <laughs> people were saying, "What happens if they fill up?" I says, "Well, you could always light them on fire and send them up to heaven, right? <laughs> yeah. And then you've got room for more. More at so, the one. Yeah. So and the birds are the same thing. They have a little hole there for for those and.